for the Toronto International Film Festival kicks off today. Movie lovers across the country can tune in online. And this year, red carpets are back and the stars are on their way. So who better to set us up than ETOG's fabulous senior correspondent, Tracy Meltzer. Tracy, good morning. Welcome. Hello. How are you? It's so great to see you. So, so good to see you. You know I am so, so excited about the red carpets. They are back. We'll see a bunch of great films, including the opening night feature, Dear Evan Henson. I cannot wait for this, Tracy. Why are people so, so excited about this movie? This movie has everything. It has heart, it has emotion. It really is a crowd pleaser and it's based on the Tony award-winning musical, Dear Evan Hansen. I did the interviews for this uh, junket, Sonia, and I can tell you that it really is the perfect story of forgiveness and community. And it really is something that we all need right now, especially as we turn to the big screen experience. A uh, Tony winner, Ben Platt, which you see right there, he, you might remember him from Ryan Murphy's The Politician or even Pitch Perfect. He mm -hmm. reprises his role as, as Evan Hansen. Uh, it's a role that he created and originated and workshopped back in 2014. Julianne Moore stars as his mom. Amy Adams, Amandla uh, Stenberg is in it. They all sing live. Their voices are, are pitch perfect and angelic. And because it's a world premiere, and I know you and I, Sonia, are on the same page, we're expecting yeah. a lot of glamour from this opening night red carpet. Oh my gosh, so much glamour. And just watching the trailer for this film too, like I get goosebumps. It's so, so good. It's really quite incredible. And speaking of glamour, of course, we've got amazing stars. I am so excited to see who's coming, who's, uh, you know, all the people that we're going to be celebrating. So who can we expect? Ooh, great question. Tiff, star power is back. Jessica Chastain and Benedict Cumberbatch, they both have two films in at Tiff. Uh, she has The Eyes of Tammy Faye, where she plays the controversial televangelist Tammy Faye Baker. I can't wait to see the transformation and those eyelashes. Uh, she also has Jessica Chastain, The Forgiven, which is a thriller set in Morocco. Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch has a 1920s Western called The Power of the Dog. And and one of my uh, soon-to-be new favorite movies, uh, he, he stars, stars in The Electrical Life of Louis Wayne, Ooh. and he plays a painter who loves cat-related art. And you oh know, I'm a cat person, so yes. it's all up my alley. Uh, <laughs> other stars coming to tip include Karen Knightley, Sigourney Weaver, platform jury chair Riz Ahmed, Kenny G, we all love some Kenny G, and music icon and legend Dionne Warwick. Oh my goodness, the names, all those names are so incredible. But I have to say, Tracy, you know, we know TIFF is a launch pad for movies going all the way to the Oscars. Mm -hmm. We saw it last year with Nomadland winning the People's Choice Award, a Slumdog Millionaire. Which movie do you think that we should be keeping an eye on that will possibly make its way all the way to the Oscars? Well, you know, big movies equals big stars equals a, a big deal at TIFF. I mean, I'm sure you're like me and everybody else out there were chomping at the bit to see Denis Villeneuve's Dune. I mean, yes. big stars. We have a Chalamet, as in Timothy. We have a Momoa, as in Jason. Zendaya. <laughs> Virgo goodness, Oscar <laughs> Isaac, and the list goes on and on and on. This is going to be a big one. This is Star Wars before Star Wars. Uh, it's influenced so many movies, and uh, we also have to talk about the big music documentaries. You know, I'm a huge music fan. Dionne Warwick, as I mentioned before, Don't Make Me Over. I'm going to be talking to her on the carpet oh. for that, uh, that movie I know. And she's also going to receive a special tribute at the TIFF Tribute Awards. Wow. So, Sonia, say a little prayer for me on that carpet. <laughs> Forever <laughs> and ever. Um, Forever and ever. Uh, okay, wait, I'm wait, sorry. Wait. I apologize no. to Are you all kidding of me? your morning audience. No, no, no. This is what uh, we do here, Tracy. This is what we do. Uh, so you're this just, is what we do. You're just blending right in. Tracy, I, I knew we could count on you. To one. Oh, yes, go for it. Can I tell you one, one more? Yeah. The Triumph documentary, Rock and Roll Machine. It's a Crave co-production. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, if you're a music fan, if you're a Triumph fan, if you're a person with breath in your lungs, you need to see this documentary. <laughs> I mean, Triumph, fabulous musicians, amazing show people. But I'm going to give you a little fun fact, Sonia, because you know I can bring everything back to Michael Jackson. Yes. The Jacksons were inspired by 
triumph for their victory tour. I'm going to leave that there. There you go. Canada, you heard there. her. You heard her. You heard what Tracy said. And just follow every single word. Hey, we will have all the coverage at eTalk as well for the entire festival. So make sure you tune in. Thanks so much, Tracy. Sonia, you're killing it. Slaying it. <laughs> Likewise, you. my friend. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here. Or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.